Mm-hmm. I'm doing that from now on. That's not even a joke. Hey y'all, it's Annie, and today I'm gonna be trying seven pickle hacks and different ways to enjoy pickles that you have never thought of before. I am trying everything from pickle beer to a pickle Reuben. You name it, I am pickling it. How's that? All right, let's kick things off with a cocktail, shall we? Many of y'all probably know that pickle juice makes a great mixer. If you freeze pickle juice in an ice cube tray, you get, what do you know? Pickle ice cubes. Now, as your ice melts, your drink will just be infused with delicious flavor. Today, I'm trying it out in a Bloody Mary. All we need is vodka, Bloody Mary mix, and a few pretty things. You'll have that awesome green color, which just looks so fun, and you'll get a ton of briny flavor. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Winner, winner. That is good. If you're already doing a Bloody Mary bar with all the fixins, just add in pickle ice cubes. How fun is that? I would even use these ice cubes for a little martini situation. Throw them in your shaker with the rest of your martini mix, and then you get that olivey, briny, salty, that'd be delicious. So this next hack makes a whole lot of sense because what pickles are is cucumbers and vinegar at their core. But basically you can replace vinegar with pickle juice whenever you need vinegar. For example, salad dressing. So I'm gonna lighten things up with a quick little salad. Starting with some olive oil, I'm gonna mix in my pickle juice at basically a three to one ratio with the olive oil. A clove of garlic chopped, some chili flakes, a drizzle of honey just for a little sweetness. Whisk that all together and call it dressing. Throw some greens in the mix. First healthy thing I've had all day. Just spoon my vinaigrette on top. I like a simple vinaigrette, but you can really jazz it up from here. Beautifully dressed, and it smells really good. Let's give it a try. Mm hmm. I dig that. I like the honey. I would recommend the honey if you're trying this. You know where this could be great? If you brined your chicken in pickle juice and then serve this as a side, that'd be a beautiful meal. Just make sure all your guests like pickles. How about that? It'll make you want to eat a salad. So this next one, I already know it's going to be a winner because it's Nicole's recipe. You start with a jumbo dill pickle. Pickle in a bag. This is the biggest one I can find. Slice it down the center and here you have your pickle bun. Scrape out the seeds and build your Reuben sandwich. A little bit of Russian dressing. Corned beef. Never actually opened one of these things. <laughs> You stab it? It has instructions. Punch hole in the can top. <laughs> I can't do it. What is what is this supposed to do? Can opener. See, I'm a good millennial and I actually have a can opener. It's not the kind of can you're supposed to open with a can opener. It's that easy. A little bit of corned beef. And on the other side, more Russian dressing. Nice scoop of sauerkraut. Last but not least, Swiss cheese. This is so dang juicy. It's gonna be a disaster to eat, but let's try it. If you're into a Reuben, that's not bad. The sauerkraut with the pickle, I'm giving that a thumbs up. That's good. That's lunch. Now who needs a snack? Because my next hack is pimento cheese which people in the South know very well and take very seriously. Now I've heard that if you add pickle juice to pimento cheese, it makes a great flavor. And I'm hoping that this will make it taste a little bit more like it is homemade, even if I'm just throwing it into a bowl. I'm just gonna add a hint of dill pickle juice for hopefully a little flavor and a little body. Pickle juice definitely makes it a little bit thinner. That's kind of nice because pimento cheese can be super thick depending on how it's made. Oh, I really can't wait. Just smear it on a cracker. Mm-hmm. I'm doing that from now on. That's not even a joke. I mean, I buy strawberry all the time, but this makes it creamier, it's looser, it really does taste homemade. Now that's a hack. Another one in a similar realm, add pickle juice to mayo for your sandwich spreads or whatever else you use mayo for. It'll cut through some of that richness and add a really nice tangy, acidic flavor. So that's another half hack for you. Seven and a half. Okay, so here's what's next. 
I'm actually really excited about this one because I am not the biggest fan of light beer. I heard about this hack where you put a pickle spear in a quote unquote bad beer and it makes it taste a little bit crafty. Got me an ice cold PBR and a fun beer mug. You know. All right, in goes the pickle spear. Ooh, that's a fat one. All right, here it goes. Ooh, that's good. It's good because you don't, you wouldn't taste pickle flavor. I don't. I think if you hated pickles, you would still like this. Because all it adds is just like a little bit of acidity and salt. And beer is already fermented anyway, so it's two fermented foods. They play off each other nicely. And you get like a little snack halfway through. Mm-hmm. Kind of like putting uh, peanuts in your Coca-Cola. I like that. I'm not gonna say it changes the flavor drastically, but it does work and it tastes good. Hand me a light beer, I'll ask you where the pickles are. All right, so this is for the real pickle people. This is not for the faint of pickle heart. A PB and P sandwich. So it is a sandwich with white bread, peanut butter, and bread and butter pickles. Apparently this is another Great Depression era food, which we've tried a few of them so far. There's no telling how this is gonna taste, but I'm doing it for y'all. And here it comes, pickles. Mm, I don't know about this. Hey, what's the weirdest thing y'all have ever eaten? Cause this might be mine. Okay, okay, okay. Here goes nothing. Happily surprised. In the weirdest way, it tastes like a PB&J, except the pickles are really crunchy. You definitely want sweet pickles for this, but I really don't hate it. That is so weird. I'm seriously about to eat the whole thing. The creamy with the crunch and the salty with the slightly sweet, it works. It works, hacked. Truly, I'm in shock. Like part of me wanted to hate it. If you have given this a try and you were either repulsed or amazed, let me know in the comments below. I have been through a lot with pickles today. We've had our apps, her drinks, sandwiches and salads, but now it's time for dessert. So I'm about to try Utah pickle pie, which thank goodness is not salty. I have my oven set at 350 and a refrigerated pie dough here and I will just spread over my pie pan and move aside. So now I'm whisking together one and a half cups sugar with two tablespoons cornstarch. Now I am beating in five eggs and one cup half and half. Froth it up. Melted butter, the zest of one lemon, one teaspoon cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Mix until well combined. Moving on to the pickle part. That's what we're all here for. I will process one cup of bread and butter pickles in a food processor. I think that's good enough for me. Add in the last remaining tablespoon of cornstarch and mix it all up into my batter. And there it is. That is loose as can be. But all the cornstarch in there will let it set up well. We hope. Bring back my pie crust into a 350 degree oven for an hour to an hour, 10 minutes. And as you're waiting for your pie to bake, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channels and follow us on Instagram for more tips, tricks, and weird hacks that we are trying out in the kitchen. Oh, what? Oh my goodness, okay. I guess it's ready. This is like cracking me up. <laughs> it looks like a Shrek pie. And it's got a little bit of pickle juice still on top. It smells like the warm spices of a fall pie, but with this weird kind of vinegary scent. <laughs> I can't say it's great. I'll let it set for an hour and then refrigerate for two more before digging in to this monster. All right, so my pie has chilled out two hours in the fridge. It's firmed up, flattened out. Looks, I guess, as good as it's supposed to. Throw a nice little dollop of whipped cream on there and voila, mm, I'm nervous. Okay, all that pickle relish rose to the top. So the bottom is really just a custardy creamy pie with that flavor still infused. It's got like a little bit of the saltiness, some punch, some acid. Would I eat it? Yes. 
Would I ask for it at a family gathering? Heck no. <sighs> hey, you gotta try everything once. Did I really eat all that? I am halfway between amazed and disgusted. Final thoughts. I thought they were kind of all winners. I was very impressed today. Pimento cheese, definitely make that again. Pickle beer, yes. Pickle salad, I will eat that tonight. The only fine print on that statement is pickle pie is not for everyone. And I include myself in that statement. Let's just say, it's not where I wanted pickles to be. Regardless, it probably has a place in someone's heart. If that's you, tell me about it. I wanna hear how you make your own pickle pie and maybe what I'm doing wrong. If you watched through and realized that there's a pickle hack that I did not cover, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what fun hacks y'all are discovering on your own. And now that I have overloaded myself on salt for the next six months, next week I will be trying something sweet and creamy and that is homemade ice cream. Don't miss it.